Hey, hey, it's Ken Gaddy with YouTube channel GameBits, here to play Planet of Lana. Just released yesterday, as I record this, on Tuesday, April 16th, for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, previously an Xbox exclusive. This game looks a little bit like Limbo or Inside, but it eschews the monotone palette of those games for a more colorful vibe. This game is set on an alien planet, if I understand correctly, and it is a 2D action puzzle platformer type of game. Okay, we have an alien language. Great. Okay, I need to get down to her. This is just an opportunity for me to learn the basic controls. I already looked at the menu, uh, you know, the settings at the beginning of the game. Whoa, can I just fall? Yes, I can. Okay. There's a jump button, there's a crouch button, like that. There's an interact button, but nothing to interact with at the moment. So I'm just going to follow this person my random wayward friend with whom I will get into infinite trouble. See? The game's already teaching me how to crouch, and now it's gonna teach me how to jump! Jump for joy. Excellent. All very basic stuff, not supposed to be particularly exciting or challenging, just an opportunity to learn the controls. I love that they do this, but I don't love that the reason they do it is because games don't come with manuals anymore. Oh no. Now I'm all wet. How do I get out of the water? At least I can swim. That's good, given that I'm in the middle of a lake. If you just look at the backdrop, the land is far away. And all the structures are built on stilts with boats and boats. All right, I can push the jump button to get out of the water. Jump button again to get out of the boat. And I'm dry. Boom, just like that. Oh, this is an interesting, like, two and a half deep plane. Crouch again. And oh, it even reminds me how to crouch in case I already forgot. Are we going to steal some food? I think we are. Are we urchins like Aladdin? I think we are. Huh. We haven't stolen anything yet. What happens if I get caught? I'm not going to, but... Oh, I should stay crouching. This is like a... Uh, cover shooter, is that what it's called? Yep. See? Not caught. Phew. You'll have to watch somebody else's Let's Play to find out what happens when you do get caught. Me, I'm going pro. I'm going perfect. Oh! oh again, I failed to jump. Mario would never have let that happen. Oh, oh, look at that. I kind of rolled when I fell. But you can't roll right into a crouch. Okay. Fewer buildings. We're getting out to the sticks now. Oh, and closer to land, it looks like. Okay, we are on land. And there are birds, because you don't see birds on the lake, just on land. That's not true. And my guy's looking around like, has he been here before? I assume it's a he. That's maybe not a safe assumption, because this is an alien planet. And who knows how these things work over there. Yeah, I made that jump at least. And, oh, see, I have to push the thing. Yeah, that's a pretty basic limbo slash inside puzzle. Oh, I push the Y button to interact. It's log, log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, it's log, it's better than bad, it's good. And we're crouching into the cave. Aren't there bears in caves? Only on Earth. This is not Earth, as far as I know. Alright. Oh, excellent. We found a campsite. And now we're going to, what, camp for the night? What's going on here? Yeah, one of you is going to die. Come back. Hmm. It's like, oh, are they playing hide-and-go-seek? Is that just a intergalactic game? I was going to say universal, but... Hmm, I guess both words apply. Who knows? 
And is it actually getting darker? I think it is. Oh, what is that in the sky? Oh, now there's three of them. Four. Given that the context of this game, I guess it's not a good thing. Wow. Okay, my best friend has been captured. They are the plot device. I doubt my character will be immediately brave enough to rescue the friend. Is there an achievement over here? Because that's how it worked in Limbo. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's not do that again. Let us learn from our mistakes and not just push ourselves off cliffs. You'd think he'd run a little bit faster given circumstances. Oh gosh, there goes... Is that the same one that has my friend, or is it just another one of those things? Maybe you want to stay in the cave. I don't think those robots are big enough to get you if you just stayed there. Gosh. Okay, definitely got darker when you go through a cave, just like in Firewatch. Oh, this thing is not scanning right at ground level. Oh, I can hide in the grass. Great. Okay. How does my character know to do that? This definitely seems like a pre-warp civilization that I represent this protagonist. And there are more of those things falling. Still, they haven't all arrived yet. There's even more on the way. And that's a big one over there in the background. Oh my gosh. I can't jump when I'm in the water. Okay, it's good that I didn't make the jump over the water. That thing would have found me. Don't tell me I'm the only one left. Surely others escaped. How is it that nobody tried to capture me? Look how big that thing is. Gosh. If I try to rescue them, they'll just capture me too. That thing's about to take off. Good. I'm glad I didn't have the opportunity to risk myself because it would have ended badly. At this point, I need to regroup, stay undetected, figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah. I'm very fortunate that none of these things are at my level. Okay, that is my friend right there. That is definitely my friend. It was my friend. <laughs> Oh, that thing is moving through the water. This is terrifying. This game really took no time to just crank up the anxiety. Oh, there's another one of those things. Wait for it to go up. Yep, there we go. Well, again, you'd have to watch somebody else's Let's Play to find out what actually happens when they spot me. I am not letting that happen. It seems counterintuitive to the well-being of my protagonist. Wouldn't you agree? I dig the music, what little I can hear of it. You can probably hear it better than I can, actually. I... Oh, I can pull it backwards. Okay. Yeah, I keep the volume turned down so that my relatively cheap microphone doesn't pick it up. Now you don't hear an echo of the theme's music, so I keep the volume on the CD turned low for me. But that doesn't affect the volume at which it gets recorded for your benefit. Yay! All right. Oh no no! You didn't see me! You didn't see me! Nope! Totally didn't see me! 
I don't know if it was, if it was possible to not be seen there. That might have just been bad timing on my part, I don't know. So now I've made it all the way to the other side of the lake. To what end? I don't know. Just to confirm that there were no other people left in the town? Are those people, or are they bats? I'm guessing if they were people, then this gate would already have been torn down. So they're probably not people. I'm, I shouldn't say bats, because who knows what <sighs> flora and fauna exist on this planet. But clearly that's a rope. I need to climb it. And then, oh, no, I'm not going to wall jump. <laughs> This is not Super Mario or It Takes Two. I don't think that those sort of otherworldly physics apply here, even though this is otherworldly. Physics are universal. Or is it intergalactic? Okay, that is a moon. That's like a, a total eclipse of the moon. Just gonna keep moving, because there's no benefit to just standing still and admiring the sights. Take a little screenshot there. Oh, getting tired. I'm moving slower now. Yeah, that adrenaline, you're starting to come down from that. That's a, that's a crash. And uh, you're going to need to recuperate. Not maybe out in the open like this. Somebody or something will probably see you. Find cover. Go back in the cave. Or go to a cutscene. You know... You can tell it's a cutscene because it's letterboxed, the graphics. See the black bars at the top and bottom? That isn't YouTube doing that, that isn't me doing a bad cropping job in Final Cut Pro. Oh, I bet this is where we get the title screen. We'll definitely need to take a screenshot of that. Hey, I called it. Did I not call it? I did call it. There, got the screenshot. That will definitely be the thumbnail this image for this video. So, yeah, I'll take another one just for good measure. Do I push a button? Do I make the name go away? No, I have push buttons. There are three of those things in the background, and possibly more in my next video as I continue this Let's Play of Planet of Lana. Stay tuned to YouTube channel GameBits.